the 21st of June. That means summer officially started last night and I'm actually thrilled that it's it's sunny today. I don't know about where you're at, but I'm here in Washington State and it's been rainy, cloudy, overcast every day. The 4th of July is coming up. It's my second favorite holiday. First would be Christmas. I'm gonna show you how I decorate a buffet table for, for the 4th of July. So I'm gonna add some farmhouse flair to it. Uh, if you guys are interested in other variations to this, let me know. I would love to do some more videos and share that time with you guys. Okay, so the first thing that I did was chose a place and set up my table. I decided to use these blue sheer curtains as the base for my table cover and the reason being is because they're light and airy and the wind can blow through them and I don't know it's just got a lot of movement and real light feeling and I, I like that for outdoors. And I have this blue and white checker table cover that's a little bit smaller and I just wanted it to kind of cover more of the center of the table and again it gives it a really light feeling for outdoors. And if you'll notice, I'm being careful for how long I have the front, and there's a reason for that, and we'll get to that later. I use this plastic tote, this little tote, and use it as a riser, and use a, a plain red, well, it's got a little sparkle in it, uh, and it's just a scarf. And I kind of drape it diagonal across the table, covering that tote. And these are some decorations that I got from the Dollar Tree and I just kind of accordion style fold up the corner of that blue and white checker table cover and attach my twist tie back to that to kind of hold that accordion up and then just fluff that bow and I do the same thing on the other corner and it gives a really nice swag to the center of that table cover. And I find that it works a lot better if you do your accordion under instead of over, if that makes sense. And then I just kind of want to readjust my, my red scarf. And then I add my decorations. And like I said, I wanted farmhouse. So I'm adding some roosters, color appropriate, a red colander with my fruit, um, and then some random Dollar Tree ornaments and I got these little glass jars and these paper straws from the Dollar Tree as well. And I will be having an upcoming video on a really neat kid friendly DIY with those paper straws. I really find that if you stick with the red, white, and blue colors, you can pretty much put anything on your table. So I also wanted to do a couple of DIYs. So I grabbed some blue scrapbook paper and freehanded four stars. And because my theme is a little more farmhouse feeling. I did not want my stars perfect. That's why I didn't grab a ruler. I just freehanded them. I wanted them very rustic looking. And as soon as I get them all drawn out, I just cut them out. Very basic. I wasn't even careful at following the lines, to be honest. So as soon as I get them all cut out, I grab some scotch tape and just put a little piece of tape on the back of the star just to put it in place blue facing out of course and just made sure that my stars were spread evenly around in a general area of where I wanted them. Next I grabbed a jar of cattle beans which are red and white and dumped them in the fishbowl and kind of spread them out where I wanted them and then after that I just went back and took the tape off of each of the stars that way I could move them exactly where I wanted them and just added a red candle to it and it's done. So the next DIY is I had a red and a blue lantern and 
literally I just used some of the decorations that I got from the Dollar Tree and just cut a little strip off of the stars wrapped them on there loosely I wasn't careful it, it didn't matter how they turned out they had the colors on there and the sparkle and that's all I wanted and again the the farmhouse feel is just loose and nothing perfect so that's what I was going for my last DIY are these clear jars that I also got at the Dollar Tree and some blue marbles I literally just split that pack of marbles between those two jars and added a red candle and of course this is the beauty of farmhouse anything is the simplicity of it and it doesn't have to be extremely expensive it doesn't have to have hours of time put into something for it to be beautiful and I hope you guys like how simple these are and um, of course I will be having more videos coming up for the fourth like I said it's one of my favorite holidays so anyway you guys have a great day and I will talk to you next time bye bye for now